Welcome, brothers and sisters, to our Lenten series, Junk in the Yard. We have been talking about the sin of greed. And today, once again, I would like to disclose another feature that characterizes a greedy person. An unrelenting attitude where there is no compassion, a spirit of unkindness, that individual is repulsed seeing a human poverty. Someone who is underprivileged even would try to keep a straight face, but interiorly he is moving away. He dislikes to be approached by a smelly and dirty individual who would be asking for some money. Right away, even aggressively, the greedy person would say, mm, go away, I don't have anything, or will turn the head the other direction. That shows there is an unkind, greedy attitude that doesn't want to admit the fact that God sends us people who are struggling and are in need. Right away, many folks would justify themselves. If he or she wanted, he wouldn't be on the street or wouldn't deal with homelessness or poverty or disadvantaged conditions. And how do we know what happened to that person? How can we judge from the outside? People's lives are so complex. There are so many factors contributing to one individual's life that it would take hours and days of listening, of finding out why that person is struggling due to many wrong choices and decisions caused by another set of decisions that were wrong. But we're not there to judge and give a moralistic talk to that person who struggles. God places this poor, disadvantaged individual in front of us to make us see what is in our hearts and as I said, oftentimes, no compassion, like the rich man from the Gospel who saw Lazarus at the gate of his palace and did not even open his mouth to him, never interacted with him. We are given those who are meant to burn our conscience, showing we don't care about those who are less than ourselves. The person dealing with this feature of greed would be quick to complain when he or she goes to a public place, maybe a restaurant or elsewhere. Oh my goodness, if uh, others are sloppy or have wrong attitude, we may right away feel insulted. It would even look like a, a major offense that is also a sign of the spirit of greed. Our Lord provides means of dealing with this sickness that I have been talking about. First, let me tell you that our Lord Jesus Christ wanted to become poor and be incarnated in a small location, most distant and in a way forgotten province of the Roman Empire, lived in Nazareth, a place that is not even mentioned once in the Old Testament, in a God-forgotten location, we may say nowadays. He chose poverty willingly, and as St. Paul says, to enrich us with his poverty. For many people, especially the saints, this phrase beca became 
foundational and guiding phrase in their spirituality. How quick are we to give alms? Today, as we reflect on the sin of greed, let us ask God to teach us not to have repulsion nor unkindness for those who are less fortunate than ourselves. Almsgiving, that I already spoke about, goes a long way. I would like to encourage all of us to think about substantial alms we can give, but not in a way nowadays many people do online, myself included. But let us look for those who are around, and probably we know some people who are standing at that intersection, at the entrance to this or that store, or someone we already know is in a disadvantaged position. We may want to prepare sandwiches or go to Subway and get some food and go to those people and interact with them, asking their names, asking how they are doing. And through this interpersonal conversation, dialogue, exchange, we may get to know a person who has a name, who has a face, who has emotions and feelings and concrete life tragedy. That will help us to get out from this unrelenting, incompassionate, cold attitude that we may have towards those who are poor. God bless you, brothers and sisters, as we continue our Lenten series. Jesus, sold for 30 pieces of silver, guard me from greed and destructive craving for possessions. Help me believe that there is more happiness in giving than in receiving. Grant me a sensitive heart to poverty and generous in sharing. Amen.